What's up guys? I'm pretty excited about this one. I just got the Mercedes AMG F1 W10. This is the one used in 2019. I read it back in November from the F1 website. They had some deal, some you know, it was, it was a good deal compared to the price of this, what this guy goes to. Um, so, so, you know, I, I was, if this one is made by Brago. I was, I didn't know what, what brand was gonna be, just carrying, you know, the price, good price, I guess. So, um, this is the one dash 43, the on dimension. Makes that 43 times smaller than the actual vehicle itself. So I'm gonna open and show you basically what I got and, and yeah. So opening from the box, it has a sticker, authentication AMG sticker, which is pretty cool, something authenticated. So I guess I'll keep the box forever. This is the 44 Hamilton's car. It has Hamilton on this side, both us on this side. I'm off at the back, so let's go. Let's open it and, and see some stuff cool about it. So I'm gonna take it out of the. I'm gonna put it back, but I'm, I'm gonna take it off. So we got the floor, nice. So it feels plastic, it is plastic. I thought it was gonna be like aluminum, like the rest of, the rest of these guys. But it's, you know, it's, it's plastic. And even though it has a lot of good details, like the number, the WIC, the IWC, I'm sorry. You know, it has all the details about the car, even though if you go into like really, really crazy details, it's missing a lot, so. Well, it's really well designed. You can tell it's Hamilton's car, just not just by the number, but by the camera, by here, by the Tommy Hill for her. So it has it has all the you know those little sponsors that sponsor a specific driver, because you know some 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 companies sponsor the comp the whole car. So it depends. Like for example, Alonso has his own sponsors compared to Stefan Ocon. But it has his different sponsors. So. Basically, Tommy Hilfer her is the one for Hamilton. Um, so compared to the to the one in F1 Fanatics, eesh, that's a price for four hundred five hundred ninety four ninety nine euros. You know, definitely not at the moment to you know that, to afford that. So comparing to this one, the first thing you notice is the wheels. They this is so splat. And this one has the, the red nut. And right on the front, you notice that this one has the aluminum and everything. Even though it has the same sticker, which is pretty cool. So I, I was hoping this one's gonna be with the openings right here. Let me see, hopefully you can see it a little closer. But they just put a whole little plastic there. So I don't know, for $15, I don't think they're gonna go into that, that much details. But you're always looking into that. Um, on the side, that's, you know, that's normal. You know, it's missing some color at the bottom, but like I said, for $15, you can't go that crazy. It has the same type of de um, decals. Even the Petrona Primax is down here. That's a little sign that says Petrona Primax. The one on the side has it. And so far pretty cool, to be honest. My only disappointment, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people won't pay attention to this, is exhaust. It's just a black little thing and another little thing here. And you know, it, it, it misses, I guess, that though a lot of people won't pay attention to the back of the car. So that's, that's, that's the only biggest disappointment that he had. Other than that, it's, it's okay, it's okay condition. Even up here too, it's on the, on the wings. It's missing, you know, it has all, it has all the coloration, but it's missing some, a lot of details that, 
you will expect the car to have especially if you are an f1 enthusiast like you know like me and you guys and you know and it's cool it's a pretty cool car i first time i have an f1 they kind of hard to get kind of tough so and a little bit of, um, of me is that i started watching formula one in 1998 i remember back in the day it was a lot a big commercial and then you know like 1997 the champion jacks Villeneuve against the two-time champion Jack michael schumacher and it because it was a um when Villeneuve won it was a lot of controversy and i'm kind of unprofessional but you know i started watching it on that time and i was at the dominican republic so not really much time to you know not, not really much opportunity the only thing is um they had the opportunity to go to see a race back in 2019 no i'm lying sorry 2018 i went to canada i got i still got a ticket let me show you guys I still got the tickets. You can see this is why I see it. 60D, 17 rows, um, section six, range DD and seat 17. That was the, that they call it the, the Lance Road Grandstand. So pretty cool. It's back in 2018, June 8. I got the ticket, even though I didn't go the whole weekend. I got the ticket for the whole weekend because basically, you know, it's, you know, it's basically pay almost the same thing for for the whole weekend. So I got the whole ticket the whole weekend. I went on Saturday for practice three, uh, qualifying and and some of the race. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So if you if you yeah, everything is is like it on this thing. So that's what I love about F one that. They are so authentic on their stuff. So, so if you have a chance to go once one year to the race, I I recommend you. And I hope you guys enjoy my review and you know some something about me on this on this car. So, if you have a chance to own one, I recommend you to own one. They, you know, they just perfect. So thank you for watching. And. Please don't forget to subscribe. I want to make more videos for people and definitely one day I'll, sh I'll look forward to show you my, my gallery of cars, even though I got to do some maintenance on there and some cleaning. So thumbs up. Press, if you can subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like button. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't, you know, still hit it. <laughs> and thank you.